Hi, my name is Joe Lobolio, and it is my great privilege to serve as Dean of the Department of Engineering and Computer Science. Studying engineering and computer science requires a strong foundation in math and science to address important problems in the context of our society, making it a great fit here at the School of Science and Math. I'd like to take a few minutes and share some important information about our residential program for students joining us for the first time this coming fall. In this presentation, we'll discuss our graduation requirements, our course offerings, and placement opportunities. Let's start by talking about the graduation requirements. Everyone must take either one engineering or computer science course during the two years they are here. Additional courses also satisfy the STEM elective requirement. Prior classes in engineering or computer science can allow you to take advanced courses, but will not exempt you from the graduation requirement. In engineering, there are many courses available to you. Most engineering courses are open to everyone. There are six courses focusing in major areas of engineering, plus courses in architecture, robotics, and CAD. Our topical courses engage students in the engineering design process while also teaching technical topics relevant to the field. Robotics combines computer science with mechanical design, while architecture includes historical aspects of architecture and an introduction to learning industry standard software. CAD is a great course for those who want to learn an important design tool or who may want to use the Peter T. Houghton Innovation and Fabrication Laboratory for a course, academic competition, or a personal project. Our advanced courses in biomedical instrumentation, statics, and circuits have prerequisites. Please check the course catalog for specific requirements for each course. Residential students are welcome and encouraged to take online courses. Online students will have priority for the online sections and residential students will be placed in residential versions in semesters when both formats are offered. We are very proud of the variety and depth of our computer science program. Our introductory options include web development, game design and simulation, robotics, shared with engineering, cryptography, shared with math, and art technology and computing, shared with the fine arts. Intermediate opportunities are available to those who have completed an introductory computer science course or who can demonstrate experience by submitting AP exam scores or by taking a placement exam. Procedural and object-oriented programming builds programming skills while using Python and Java. Our advanced courses in Java, data structures with C, and machine learning require advanced programming skills, as learned from our intermediate courses or demonstrated by performance on the AP exam or a placement exam. We also provide opportunities outside of a standard class format and during our January term to explore other topics, and we encourage students to apply their skills outside of the classroom by participating in exciting extracurricular activities if you want to take advanced courses, please plan your schedule to take the prerequisites, which might include physics, calculus, or prior courses in the department. Optional placement tests for advanced courses are available on the department website. Computer science placement may also be achieved through scores of 4 or 5 on the AP Computer Science exam. We've covered a lot of information, so I'm sure that there are some questions you might have that have gone unanswered. If so, you can get those answered by looking at the course catalog available through our main website or at the Registrar's website, resource boards in our Blackboard Student Information System, the Engineering and Computer Science website, upcoming departmental question and answering sessions, or please send me an email. I hope this information has been useful and that you can find courses in engineering and computer science that are meaningful to you. I look forward to seeing you here.